My name is Mike Millat. I'm a 20 plus year veteran of the music industry. I produced an album that won a Grammy Award for Best Jazz Instrumental back in 2004. Um, I've toured and worked with many, many, many major bands. I started a children's charity in 2004 called Instruments for the Youth and is supported by over 100 major celebrities from Keith Richards to Billy Joel. Uh, basically what that charity does is it works to supply free musical instruments to impoverished children. For the last five years, I actually was, had been writing books. I became an author. It also ranges for celebrity visits to children's hospitals, which is pretty cool. I've worked with uh, everyone from producing, uh, helping to produce an album that's featured Bon Jovi's, Tico Torres. Um, about roughly five years ago, I left the business, and uh, I have a child who's been diagnosed with autism and who had separation anxieties. It was impossible to actually be anywhere without having my Siamese twin at my side. I can't go out and live on a tour bus like I used to with a seven-year-old child, but there's still a lot of alternatives that I can take advantage of and actually do. It's opened up Zeppelin's back in April of 2012. The club being one, artist management being another. We also launched an internet radio station. Um, all local bands and what have you are going to be using that as a platform to get their music out to the local community. Um, basically, I'm um, looking at getting a little bit more involved with music again. This year, the only local alternative paper in the Lansing area is City Pulse. Four months, four months we've been open, right? Not once could one of their music writers walk across the street. Now how can you accurately report on the local music industry and the local music scene when you're missing a piece of the puzzle? That's that. For many of these people here in Lansing, the only thing they have is their music. This is my message to the, um, to the, the music world and what have you. Music has always been my life. It's been a way of my of life for me since as far back as I can remember from the very beginnings when I used to skip classes at school. I mean, there's people here that believe in us. They really are. That, that there could actually be a nightlife and bands everywhere. People would come from all over the place just to play in Lansing because it's like playing in a place that's just really, really, really happening. It's like.